Hi and welcome back to my channel, I'm Dr. Mirinvir Singh, an emergency medicine specialist here in the UK and today we're going to be going through the Netflix series known as The Punisher. It's a spin-off series from Daredevil and there's an amazing fight scene in the prison in which the Punisher himself is fighting against different inmates and during this fight scene there are so many different points of trauma, so many different types of injuries that it's so fascinating that I've broken it down and we're going to go through it step by step so let's get into it. Okay, so let's pause that right there. So you can see that he's got hit in the head. It's only gonna cause a mild concussion. It's not gonna knock him out. He's gonna carry on fighting. We'll come back to head injuries later on because there's a few more scenes which we can go into a lot more detail with some good graphics. So right there, you can see that this person's been impaled through the center of his abdomen, the center of the tummy, the gut area. This can perforate organs such as the stomach, the small intestines, the large intestines, the spleen, the pancreas, the liver, so many different organs that control so many different functions. But very importantly, organs such as the liver and the spleen hold a lot of blood and therefore piercing those organs can cause a significant amount of bleeding known as hemorrhage and this can be catastrophic meaning that you could die at that moment in time. Also as it's going through the center of the abdomen the object can pierce the aorta or the inferior vena cava. These are two large blood vessels. Now the aorta is under high pressure because it's an artery and the IVC, the inferior vena cava, is a low pressure system. Therefore if you pierce a low pressure system you're going to bleed out more slowly so from veins you bleed slow. From the arteries because they are high pressure you're going to bleed out very quick and hence why that is catastrophic. So by this piercing the aorta this person's going to be dead within minutes. Now if this person's lucky and he's near a vascular center and they can do a vascular repair then maybe this person may stand a chance otherwise out there in the jail cell this guy's gone. Also if with enough force if it manages to pierce through the spine it will pierce through the spinal cord and the spinal cord will control all different types of functions for certain parts of the gut and especially the lower legs. If they're lucky to survive they will be paralyzed from that point level all the way down. Here we can see that he's got stabbed in the left forearm. There's a lot of different muscles, nerves, arteries, veins. So damaging any part of that as you can see from the graphics here. You can damage any control, any movement and especially if you're damaging the blood supply you can damage the blood supply to the hand. Therefore he could lose his hand. But there are many people around the world who accidentally impale themselves through this part of the forearm and actually you can be lucky enough just to splice straight through and hardly cause any damage and therefore maintain function. This next one is a simple hit to the head. It's only going to cause superficial damage. Now like before this is a stab to the abdomen but this is multiple stabs so actually there's a higher degree and a higher chance of causing injury to multiple organs such as the pancreas, the liver, the spleen, the stomach, the intestines and because it's superficial it's not going to be deep enough to really reach the aorta or the inferior vena cava which are those large blood vessels that we discussed earlier on. But still there can be a massive amount of internal bleeding or actually leakage of bowel contents into the abdomen which can cause severe infection known as peritonitis which needs antibiotics and fluids to be given urgently and also an operation to extract the contents and also then repair the bowel. Sometimes these people who survive will end up needing a bag for their stool and this is known as a colostomy or an ileostomy. He's used a sharp object to attack this person's groin. Here in the groin there's many different parts of the anatomy that we need to look at. So not only do we have the external genitalia such as the urethra which controls the outflow of the urine but then you've also got the penis itself and if that's damaged then you've damaged the layers which can cause severe complications such as bleeding, 
but it can also cause problems to do with failure to have an erection and also problems to do with failure of passing urine. Following the structures coming further inwards, they can be damaged to the testicles, which means that this person will no longer be able to have children in the future and also damaging the duct pipes, meaning that the products from the testes can no longer then travel through the ducts to the urethra. Also, you have other structures known as the seminal vesicles, the prostate gland, which are all going to be damaged in this attack. Then we come on to structures known as the rectum, so that's where you poo from. That's the end part of your large bowel. That's going to be damaged and also there's a potential for your bladder to be damaged as well. Now when these two structures are damaged, you need surgeons to repair these parts of your anatomy. And if it cannot be repaired, then this person will be left with a bag for the colon known as a colostomy, but also they will need a bag to hold their urine. Now, just out of interest, if it was a female, then the other structures that could be injured there would be structures such as the vagina, the cervix, as well as the womb. And severe damage caused there could lead to infertility, massive hemorrhage, which again would need an obstetric gynecologist surgeon to operate on that. And if not successful, then those structures would have to be removed. Here we can see that he's made a stab to the chest. Then he's moved himself to stab the other area of the chest because he knows where he's going to inflict the most damage. But that's because he knows his anatomy and he knows where the heart is situated. The heart is not situated here on the right hand side unless you have situs invertus. Its heart is situated mainly here in the central left side of your chest. Now if you've watched any of my other videos before like Batman vs Superman fight scene in the warehouse you're going to know that this injury to the chest here there's several different important diagnoses that we need to consider. The first one is something called a pneumothorax. That's where you cause damage to the lung and it leaks air in between the lung and the chest wall. And therefore this can cause the lung to collapse. This is known as a tension pneumothorax and that will cause pressure on the heart and prevent it from beating. This is life threatening and will cause death unless fixed. The next thing is there can be damage to the intercostal blood vessels or severe major vessels which come off the heart and injuring those vessels can cause catastrophic bleeding leading to death but then also it can cause something known as a hemothorax which is blood collecting in between the lung and the chest wall so where is a pneumothorax you have air there the same area can be filled up with blood that itself can lead to massive internal bleeding but can also then start causing pressure effects on the lung preventing you from breathing adequately and then also cause pressure on your heart. To fix the bleeding you will need to have an operation, you'll need to have a chest tube inserted to drain the air, to drain the fluid and then also a surgical repair done for the areas which are damaged. <laughs> This next one is a stab to the head. We're going to come on to this because it's covered in one of the next scenes and we can go through that in more detail. Here we can see that he twists and snaps the neck. Now have a look at the anatomy. That C3, 4 and 5 keeps the diaphragm alive. We've covered this before and it keeps you alive because that is the vagus nerve and the vagus nerve supplies the diaphragm and the diaphragm is what allows you to breathe in. Now once you damage those nerves at that level you will no longer be able to breathe and therefore you will suffocate. Also you have major other nerves which run throughout the rest of the spinal cord to the rest of the body and by damaging those nerves at that point within the spinal cord will render that person to paralysis. They will not be able to move their arms, they won't be able to use their legs, let alone breathe. So you can see here there's several punches to the head followed by a hammer to the head. I don't think this guy is going to be getting back up do you? Not only is he going to have fractures to the skull but he's also going to have definitely internal bleeding and there's going to be injury to the brain because he's damaging the neurons. If this guy is lucky to survive and ends up on the intensive care unit he will have the most severe disabilities because the brain itself has been damaged and as you know the brain controls so many different functions and therefore severe disability will occur from this. There is no wonder why this guy is called the Punisher. He's literally ripped out this guy's eye. 
So not only will there be corneal damage, the cornea is the right at the front of the eye over the pupil, which is the seeing part of the eye. There's going to be damage to the lens. The lens is what changes shape and allows us to see far and near. Then there will be damage to other parts of the eye known as the retina, which is the photographic part of the eye that has different layers of neurons which receive the light and then transmits those as different action potentials to the nerves and our brain is able to pick that up and perceive those different images. So this eye will be lost, very difficult to repair. If anything, you would need an ophthalmic surgeon. He might need to get himself an eye patch and become a pirate. He really is punishing everyone around him, but he cuts this guy's throat. And at that area of your throat, you have different structures right at the front you have your trachea which is known as your windpipe and behind that is situated the food pipe known as the esophagus. So damage to these structures can cause problems to do with breathing, problems to do with swallowing but really the true damages are going to come from the vessels that sit on either side and the main vessel there really is the internal and the external carotid arteries or the common carotid artery that branches into those two and that is a high pressure system because it's an artery and therefore by cutting through those vessels will cause massive bleeding and that can cause a catastrophic hemorrhage within a few minutes. Those vessels go on to supply different parts of the head and the neck and also the brain and therefore blood flow to the brain is going to be compromised and then just like that he disappears into the smoke and just like him I'm going to disappear into the smoke too well thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all the next one if you haven't checked it out I want you to go and watch Batman vs Superman the warehouse fight scene that I've broken down into part one and part two I hope you enjoy it Love to see you on the next video. I've got some more coming up, so keep a watch out. And if you're interested in other videos of mine, then check out the playlist.